<laughs> anyway, we're over here celebrating. It's our 12 year anniversary, so. Hi guys, if you wanna chat, let's do it. Let's see who wants to join the live. I haven't been on live in like two weeks cause we lost the last account that was at like 200,000. And then this one is almost at 200,000 again. So I figured it's not usually the typical day that I stream, but whatever, it's our anniversary. I'm gonna take two shots and I figured uh, when I drink, if you guys wanna drink with me, let's go. Uh, if anybody has any questions now that you've maybe asked in the comment section that I just didn't get to, just go ahead and ask now and I'll see if I can get to it. Some neighbors are coming in on their pretty boats. How cute. Good for them. Anyway, so cheers to my 12 year anniversary. So thanks for hanging out guys. I don't know where I'm gonna go to dinner tonight. If anybody lives in the Tampa area-ish and knows any like cool, I know I'm like a mostly a vegetarian, but like steakhouses are cool for like good ambiance and good places. So if anybody's in like the Tampa area that knows like a good steakhouse or a good like super bougie, bougie restaurant or something like that, just like write that in the comment now cause I'm looking, I'm like super hungry. Ew, I don't like that eyeliner. Ew, and it just spritzed on me, what the fuck? Oh, I think I dug my hair in there. <laughs> anyway, a Brazilian steakhouse in Tampa, it's called Texas de Brazil. I think I've heard of that before. My friends have talked about that before, uh, but we usually went to the, Ew, what's it called? Um, we usually went to Fogo de Chao and people said that Fogo de Chao was better than the de Brazil or whatever. So I'm, I'm a little suspect about going, uh, but yeah. Anyway, hi guys, hi new people. Welcome to the new page. Uh, we have to, had to start a new, super new page cause we got banned on the main page and Playhouse has been kind of weird. So we started a new, new page. This is our third page right now. Welcome. Anyway. Ooh. I made this jalapeno tequila. It's so good. So if you just like cut up your favorite peppers or fruit or something like that and you shove it in a jar get one of like those tea spigot jar type things Whew. pour it in there chop up all your vegetable or your fruit or your peppers or whatever you want to soak the tequila in there for like eight to eight hours to like a week and a half three weeks Drink that shit, it's freaking delicious. Don't say I didn't tell you anything delicious. It's fucking amazing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, do any of you guys have any questions about polyamory? Let me see. I don't see anything in particular, but. All right, somebody ask a good question so I can start talking about something so I don't look like one of these girls who just sits here on live and like does her makeup or something. Let me like have like a point of being here. I have a question. I hate people who do that. Then ask your question. Now you've wasted twice as much of my time. You could have just asked the question. I hate people who are like, oh, can I ask you a question? Like you just did. So be bold, ask the question. Don't say you have a question. Don't say, can I ask you a question? Just ask the fucking question. Okay, um, what do you suggest for newbies? Cause people hate dealing with newbies. Um, I mean, just be bold just like that. Like, don't say, can I ask you a question? Just like ask the bitch a question. Like, don't be like, can I take you out on a date? Can me and my wife take you out on a date? If she's hitting on you, like fucking ask her out. So be bold. Um, uh, married, married legally, or do you just have a third? 
So technically, me and my guy, we're celebrating our 12th anniversary. Uh, we're not married legally, uh, just in case, like, say, say we met a girl from out of the country and she needed, like, a green card or, like, residency or whatever the hell they call in America. Say that we met a girl that had, like, kids and needed, like, insurance or something like that. Like, maybe I didn't need it as much. So we've never actually gotten married legally just in case she might need it more than me. So we're already thinking about her before she's ever gotten here, but not legally. So marry illegally, I guess. I would guess you would say like illegitimately, like hood rats just like living together. I think that's what we do. <laughs> hey, Stepsis, I don't know who that is, David. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, let's see what else. Are you the wife or do you, and do you deal with jealousy? So like I was just explaining, technically nobody's the wife because we haven't legally gotten married since like maybe she'll need to get married or maybe the girls will get married. I don't know. Whatever makes the most sense as a three. So we've never actually gotten married and jealousy, like sure, there's jealousy. Like even when you're hanging out with like in a monogamous relationship and like your best friend talks to your guy or you go out to the store with your guy and he's like checking out some girl or you go out with your girl and she's talking to some guy at the bar too long. Like every relationship deals with jealousy. So to say that there's no jealousy, that would just be ridiculous. So of course, of course there's jealousy, but you kind of just have to like dissect it right then. Like, why do I feel jealous? Like, is he like, is he letting her do something that he never lets me do? Is he letting her drive his truck? Is he letting her sh teach him how to do something? Is she or he like doing something, I don't know, that they just don't want your help with or they don't, they don't do for you, like buy you snacks or something like that. Like why do you feel jealous? And then just like dissect that. And then talk to them like immediately and just tell them like, I feel a little left out when you buy her snacks and you don't ask me what kind of snacks I want or maybe you just remember her snacks and you always have to double ask me or maybe you always do her chore or whatever it is. Like address the situation and tell him or her or them or whoever it is and just let them know like, hey, I feel a little left out when you remember them and don't remember me. So then if you have that discussion and then later on they forget you again, like that is a problem. But if you have that conversation and then they fix it, boom, bell, that's how you fix that. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, let's throw in another question. If you guys were asking questions earlier while I was talking, I'm so sorry I didn't see them. The text is like really small and I should probably have glasses, but I don't. I'm a, I'm a cheater at the doctor's office and pretty much in every aspect of my life. It's like, no, I'm not, I'm just kidding. I don't cheat at games at the doctor's office if they're just like, you're blind. Or like, you lost, that's me. So I swear I'm not a cheater. But yeah, I can't see for dicks, so. <laughs> 